we've got a beautiful day here in Deerfield Beach. The sun is shining, but it's a nice cool day. And it is a perfect day for the Cool Wheels Car Show held by the YATC. We've got a lot of great cars coming up, so stay tuned. Well, guys, we're here with Terry Routley, who's the executive director of the YATC. Terry, tell us all about this unbelievable program. Well, what we do is we take at-risk and disadvantaged youth. It's a nine-month program. The guys and gals have happened to be there, there from September till May. We teach them automotive repair, life skills, and academic remediation. It's, it's a wonderful program. It's totally free for the students. Um, we're sponsored. We're a nonprofit organization, so we're sponsored by donations and private money. Um, it's, it's an awesome thing. We do a lot of good work. History behind it, uh, Jim Moran, dream of his in 1984. Uh, now you've got history behind you. Absolutely, this is our 30th year, so we've been in the community for, for a long time. And uh, yeah, great support. Um, this, this show here today is to help raise awareness about the program, and hopefully we'll get job leads. That, that's the goal, the carrot in front of these kids is, is to go through the program, and uh, we have jobs for them when they get done, and they can, they can carry on with their life and be self-sustaining, productive citizens. And that's what we all want. It's a real impact on the community. Andrew and I have uh, seen this firsthand at your facilities, and it really is a terrific thing you guys are doing for everybody. Uh, for our viewers that want to know more, uh, not only about the program, but how they might be able to hire one of the graduates of YATC, what do they need to do? Who, who do they need to contact? I think the best thing is www.yatc.org. That's yatc.org. And uh, there's information there, there's contact information. A lot of that comes to me, um, and, and we'll hook you up, and, and hopefully you can uh, get our guys working. That's Like I said, that's our goal, that's our mission. Thanks again for joining us, Terry. It's a great job that you're doing there, and it uh, looks like we're gonna have a great show today. Awesome, thank you guys. Hey, my name is Jimmy. I'm from Big Dick's Muscle Cars. Tell you a little bit about this car that we built for a uh, very, very famous football player, Jason Taylor. This is a 1967 GT 500E. We found this car in a barn, had weeds growing out of it, and we brought it back to life. Made it look pretty the way it looks right now. It's got a Roush motor in it. It's got some one-off wheels, custom built for this car. We've got JL audio system in the back, a couple of subwoofers, put some pro car seats in here, built the back seat to match it. It's got a C6 transmission in it. The thing runs really good. About 40 on a horse, yep. It's got a lot of ponies and it moves real good down the road. Fun car to drive, gets a lot of looks. Very proud of this one. We also built another one for Jason Taylor. It's at the show today. It's black and silver. Two of them we did in uh, roughly three years, about three years' time, and uh, it's beauty. Same car that was in Gone in 60 seconds, and uh, it's very desirable. Everybody wants this car. It's, it's awesome. If you drive it, you feel like you are a movie star for sure, because it is a beautiful car. up on Car Show Television. Hey guys, I'm here with Ian Pinkerton. Ian is a current student at the Youth Automotive Training Center in Deerfield Beach, Florida. Uh, Ian, thanks for talking with us today. Thank you for having me. How old are you, Ian? I'm 20. And. Uh, how long have you been in the Youth Automotive Training Center? Been there since September of the 2012 or 2013. Okay, so you're relatively new there. Uh, what's your experience been like? Is this something you really enjoyed doing? Yeah, it's great. I mean, love it. Wouldn't ask for a better program, better place to be. It's really, they're great people there, and um, 
but you really learn an incredible trade there uh, where you can actually go out and, and use this. So you, do you see a future for yourself in, uh, in working with cars? Oh, yes, most definitely, for sure. Okay. Do you have a ride right now? No, sir. Okay, but you know what? You can go out and earn something at uh, being a mechanic somewhere and get yourself your own whip, right? Yes, most definitely, for sure. Yeah, that sounds great. Um, how has this changed, like, the trajectory of your life? I mean, uh, um, what was your life like before, and what's your life like now? Uh, before, it was terrible. On the streets, in and out of jail, no future. And now, since YGC, I have a future, living better, feel better, you know, see a great, bright future. Uh, you know what? This place has been providing bright futures for a long time, and uh, I'm really happy to talk to someone who's got a real bright future in front of him, Ian Pickerton, right here on Car Show Television. I'm here with Wes Smith. Uh, we caught him uh, driving in and we said we had to track him down and uh, talk to him because uh, his whole entire rig here from his rat rod that he's got out up front to this absolutely incredible uh, kind of steampunk bike is just absolutely incredible. Uh, Wes, well, are you the designer of this? Yeah, pretty much so. I, I designed the bike, um, the truck, yeah, the trailer. I, I, I designed pretty much everything, the tank. Everything on, I, I started with the bike on paper. Um, my buddy from After Hours built the bike. Um, you know, I brought him all the parts. You know, every part that you see on it, even to the motor, I bought, went out and bought, uh, had plated everything, brought him. He put together everything, you know, with, with his stuff too. So, is this like a lot of searching out in the junkyard to find all these parts? Yeah, a lot of searching on eBay, a lot of searching on the internet. Yeah, a lot of that. So now the, the headlight on there, tell me a little bit about the headlight that's on this bike. The headlight, I had a, a different headlight on there. I had, um, it's still from, from an old Model T, probably like a 1918, uh, 1919 Model T. Um, I had a different one on, on there, but uh, I found these on eBay. These are original E&J uh, Ford headlights. So uh, I actually just put that on last night. So that would have come off like a Model T or? Like a 1918, 1919 Model T. Wow, incredible. Not only the wheels on this, uh, I mean, are those custom-made wheels? Yes, those are one-off wheels, custom. Uh, it's 26 in the front, copper-plated, 16 in the back, copper-plated. But yeah, one-off, nobody else has those. Now, what about the engine here? I mean, this engine is absolutely incredible with, like, all the copper plating and everything on it. Yeah, it's my favorite motor, so, uh, like, my dream motor. It's a 1941 uh, Harley-Davidson flathead 80-inch uh, big twin. So, and I had everything on it copper-plated. Um, it's an original carb, an M51 carb that goes with the motor, but we've made an extension to bring it out because, uh, you know, the carb is super cool. It needs to be seen. If it's, if it's not brought out like that, you don't even really see it. It just gets filled with gunk from driving it. So, uh, I mean, did you have like an inspiration that started this or? No, not really. I just, uh, I, I don't know where it came from. I love that steampunk deal. And so uh, what was the inspiration for the truck? Was that, that, that you say the truck started first? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I love rat rods, and uh, I love I, I love like just the old Ford Model A or just Ford pickups like that. So you know, I, I seen them on you know I seen them for sale, and I seen them on TV and stuff like that. And I said oh, I want to build one. So this kind of fits your personality then? Yeah, I, I love I love the pickups. So. Well, Wes, thank you very much for talking to us. Thank you. Thank you.